Are you starting a sex magazine? Fashion magazines are guys naked on? Millions! <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Anne and today will be a little bit of a throwback. I'm also recovering still from the stomach flu. I'm a little bit better, but I might look a little bit disheveled and that's why. <laughs> We're gonna look at a show that was very popular, I think, back, way back. I don't remember when it was. I was a teenager and it's the Janice Dickinson modeling agency. So Janice Dickinson, she used to be a model, uh, you think even a supermodel. She has been the judge on America's Next Top Model and some other shows where she made nasty and mean comments. But a million times worse though, when Janice started mocking the unretouched version of the shot. It's like a Hitchcock film. Go back and forth, back and forth really fast to see what I mean. I remember this kind of stuff happening in her show so I thought I'm still recovering I want to do something just chill so let's look together at this show what happened um and yeah just react to it and, and watch it together so coming up on the Janice Dickinson modeling agency she's one of the most successful models of all time I've done every four she was the one probably that said to definitely put that in. <laughs> Form of a cover you can think of. And now she's opening her own modeling agency. But will the industry take her seriously? People don't buy you as having a real agency. Everyone I'm talking to takes it as a joke. Maybe I am too over the top. Maybe I am, but I have faith and heart and passion for this. She's not just looking for the next. That was so scripted. The next supermodel. Are you sporting a six pack or not? That's hot. She's looking for models that can make her business a success. I need girls and guys that are going to make the Janice Dickinson agency money. She's the boss. Look at the hair. That hair used to be so popular on guys. Like they used to do the frosted spikes and stuff. All right. What if no one shows up? And when Janice holds an open call, 500 people. Beyond my wildest dreams. She'll need to use her skills as a professional photographer to determine which prospects have what it takes to make her startup business a success. I'm gonna have to blur this. Holy, she's just in a, like a string thong. She has gone sexuality to model. Out of over 500, only a select few will be chosen and become the first models of the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. I'm starting to remember now once seeing it. Starting the Janice Dickinson Agency because it's been a lifelong dream and personal goal to do a business that works. Oh my god, it's, it's happening! Oh my god! Oh my god! A business that's worked. I actually wonder what happened to it. Did it even work? I'm dying. Look how good the colors go. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. Although most new businesses fail, I have the credibility for the last 32 years in front of the camera, in back of the camera, as being a photographer, a supermodel, an editor. I'm putting all of that, all of me, on the line with this startup business. Do I look like an agent? Because I feel like a baby. I will not fail. It's just in my make. She feels like a baby, but she wasn't she like 40 back then? My makeup not to fail. Wait, wait, wait. Back. Back. No, it doesn't work. I'm a single mother of two. So this business has to work for me and for them. I love you. Come give me a good night. And the only way an agency makes money is to have signed models working real jobs. After you told us what you wanted to kind of do and find, we actually approached MySpace. And right now, I have no models. So what we did is we created a page for Janice Dickinson Models. So I decided to set up my first open call as soon as possible. We're doing a huge open call on Saturday. All right. I hired recruiters and sent them out looking for a diverse group of models who can work on a variety of assignments, from the runways of Milan to iPod commercials, not just supermodels. While my recruiters were finding models, I was still doing my own fashion shows and lots of publicity. That is so cool, your own agency. I'm going to start a business because I know I can do it better than anyone because I've been there and done that. Having manicures and- There's plenty who've been there and done that and have successful, I don't think she did it better than, I, I think it ceased to exist, I'm not sure. 
Manicures and pedicures and Botox. Oh my God, I'm doing this for the pain of love. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> she had had a lot of work done though, like over the years, if you see her now, and it's kind of sad because you don't really need that. She looked beautiful. Now she looks kind of botched a little bit, like um, a bit weird. So she getting Botox, she got in fillers. She got a lot of things done. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hired not one, but three assistants. Let's say one for each mood swing. I need someone who works for me to be able to get my coffee, to pick up my daughter from school. I've taken care of kids my whole life. I'm the oldest of six oh, girls. Have. And after weeks of work, I was finally ready to open for business. I love it. Your own agency, sweetie. Can you some hot chocolate? I'm this way. Okay. You know, Savvy, this is the morning of my open call, and but just you're the only person I'm gonna let know. I'm really scared and I'm really nervous. Why? What if nobody shows up? No, well, they don't. Then they don't have a business. And this is the business that I want to make happen. For us, for our future. Give me a hug. So much. Go. Get dressed. Brush your teeth. I literally got up. I had vertigo and I walked into the closet door and like smashed it on my nose. Probably from the Botox. <laughs> No, seriously, I heard people getting like side effects from Botox, more like fatigue, but you can get other things from it, apparently. I mean, no, I think I broke my nose. My guys are the best in the industry, that Duke, that Gabe, these creative geniuses, hair and makeup gods, I call them. You know, without them, I wouldn't be here today. What if no one shows up? She keeps saying what if no one shows up, but there's so many people that actually want to be models and put that kind of on a pedestal as if it's something amazing. But many people don't really reach a high top model level and kind of struggle in the modeling industry. There's definitely not going to be a shortage of people looking for modeling jobs, you know, because apparently like especially younger people see it as this really cool thing to do and like they feel accomplished or something. and. Do you feel pretty, of course, if they can be a model? Um, but I think a lot of people showed up. Hello? 500 people? Are you kidding me? That's when I knew that, oh my God, it's on. When I arrived at the agency, there are lines practically wrapped around the block. I cannot describe to you the joy and exhilaration that I felt. I got out of the car and I just started talking from the bottom of my heart to everybody. Good morning, everybody. to find the world's next supermodel, male and female. Now here's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I just keep seeing those, the looks back then was so like funny. <laughs> because now it's not in style, it's like how you see it through our lens of the time, you know, but back then, you wouldn't bat an eye, but now it's like, this is so iconic. <laughs> everybody. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I am here to find the world's next supermodel, male and female. Now here's what's going to happen. I am prepared to offer a select few of you representation with the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. The chosen few will join this agency on a trial basis. I will work with you. I will mold you into the person you're supposed to be in front of that camera. When the trial period is over, I will be prepared to offer my top grossing models long-term contracts with the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. So let's go see who pops. Welcome to the Janice Dickinson Agency. Step forward, young men. Step forward, ladies. I'm gonna make this really short. You're too short. You're too short. You're too short. No, no, yes, yes, no. Open call to- That's fast. Like, of course, in the modeling industry, if you wanna do catwalk and stuff, um, you gotta be kind of tall. It was really nerve wracking because, you know, reading through the haystacks to find the needle. You mind taking off your shirt? So Marie can see what you look she like. She does that the whole time. To personally interview 500 people. I really needed someone whose opinion that I respect. So I bring Marie in. Someone who's been in the industry for almost as long as I have. She discovers Cindy Crawford. She's got kind of my second eye. What's going on? No, you're not sitting. No one asked you to sit down. Stand up. And walk, 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 walk. It's like you got a broom shoved up your butt. We're How going, was that? It sucked. It sucked? It really sucked. It's really sucked, but a lot of people still have to learn. I guess maybe she's looking more for people who naturally, but she wants to mold them into the person they have to be. So I hope, you know, give them the time to learn. They could be amazing, you know, if you teach them for a while, um, instead of just saying, you suck, you suck. 
I think you could be a little bit more diplomatic and be like, yeah, your your wall could use a little bit of work. Uh, we'll try work on that, see if it gets better. If sh if you know the per if you see the person has potential for the modeling industry, that's what I would do. You're a great looking woman. Nyaba walked in. She's just beaming with her teeth and her eyes and her spirit. I fell in love with her the minute she walked in. How tall are you, Sudanese? Five nine. Five nine. Mar I think she has her um, a lot of confidence, which she likes. 5'9", what? I'm 5'9"? That's a good, uh, that's a catwalk height, like what? Marie said no. I love that she's from the Sudan because Africa's my favorite place on earth. Ah, you know what? She's not always the word. I just miss Sudan, come back. You're in the maybe pile. This is not a six pack. This is an obscene 24 pack. Are any of these abs retouched? Good God. One, two, three, four. That's as far as I'm going. Good God, I've never seen more abs in my entire life since the rib section over at Ralph's. I'm a Playgirl model and I tend to like to do my auditions kind of naked. What? <laughs> I, I don't know if this is what I'm looking for. But... Why not? Oh, come on. It's just a penis. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> It's just a penis. Uh, it is just a body, of course, but this is, um, you know, something you don't do in public. Also, people might not be comfortable with it, and there's probably children watching this show. Hopefully not, actually. Hopefully no children are watching this show. No kids should be watching this show. But good thing they blurred that out. <laughs> He's even like... <laughs> Holy sh... I don't think that would be a thing anymore on TV if this was like in this day and age. I cannot imagine this happening on TV. Oh, hell no. No, God, walk. Come on, walk, 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 walk. I can't. There's dignity and respect to the fashion industry. Some guy like stripping down to his bare ass nothing and showing us his dead rabbit. That's not cool. His dead rabbit. Can I see your pictures, please? I met you in Third Street Promenade. Yeah, you're the one who told me to come. It made me really happy to see Teresa walk through the door. I just saw the first time I saw Teresa Cutie, a fashion photograph. Hi, how do you do? I saw her out of the corner of my eye, just sitting next to a lamppost. She was dirty, her hair was green, she looked unbathed. It was a perfect fashion moment. Where do you live? Where are you staying? Um, right now I don't have a home. Like, my mom picked me up. Does she live here? No, she lives in Florida. So you hitchhiked here? Yes. But I saw a lot of confidence in this girl with no money that had just hitchhiked her way across the United States of America. Snap, can I snap a shot? Yes, please. I just saw a winner. I saw a lot of me and that girl sitting on the curb. Her presence, her vibe, the way she wore her hair, the way she wore her clothes. There she is. Someone that I want in my agency. When I went to New York City, I was homeless too. I had no money when I started as a model and I really love that you came all the way over here. This could be your lucky day. You are going to come back tomorrow. We will find you new wardrobe and I will personally take your photograph. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming. She is very pretty though. Don't know what about her, about her hair. Looks like it's like chopped everywhere. What kind of style? I don't know. I think she has a bun. Hi. What are you doing here? You're already a supermodel. I'm just yes. who? That's what I thought. Hey, nice to meet you. Great. And a fresh kit and portfolio for you. You know, it's a little embarrassing to come here because it, it, this is for newcomers. I've done a lot in my career. There's covers and people know me. It just hasn't gone to that level. I said, well, if anybody's going to get it, it would be her. Look, this is what I'm looking for. How many covers do you have? Last week I made 250. You only have 250 covers. That, well, how many do you have? That seems like a lot of covers. I have thousands. She had the unmitigated gall to challenge me by saying, well, I've got 250 covers. How many covers have you had? Can you imagine saying that? Wait, wait, what? No, I think you asked her how many covers she had. She didn't tell you to, to challenge you. What? How many covers do you have? Last week I made 250. How many covers do you have? You only have 250 covers. That, well, how many do you have? I have thousands. She had the unmitigated gall to challenge me by saying, well, I've got 250 covers. She had the gall to challenge me to say it. She was just surprised because she thought 250 is a lot. And she was like, wow, how many, how many do you have? That's like what I would say. Covers. How many covers have you had? Can you imagine saying that to me? To me? The top model? The best model that ever worked is Earth? You're in. I will personally take your photograph tomorrow. I just thought that like she was really sexy. So that's why I asked her to come back. I think she's adorable. Oh, do you, triplets? All right, he's in. Yay! <laughs> Yay. The 
that was the cutest thing ever. So we're at the end of the first day. It's been a really emotional day. You came in, you know, you rocked it. You rocked it. From the hundreds of people that showed up, I narrowed it down to the next day. The callback. I would personally take their photograph. You know, I love you. Thank you so much. It was really great. God bless. Oh, and we did through hundreds of model wannabes. And now it's down to brass tacks. My plan was to turn these kids out in front of the camera so I could judge them and see whether they are qualified to be. That look would not be in today. It's like he put, they put eyeliner on him. It looks like <laughs> that would not be a model look from like today. To become a Janice Dickinson model. And in the end, I will only sign a few aspiring models. Yes, pout those lips out. I want this whole place to reek sexuality. You have to have sexuality to model. Take it all off down to the white feet top. Drop trowel. We're gonna have to shoot you naked. Keep your shirt off. You're gonna drop trowel back of it. She's gonna hide your rabbit. That's hot. Take your pants off. Do you mind? What size are you? Why would you immediately have to kind of strip down until your thong, even her their breasts are out and everything, and then you come in front of the television like a show where everyone can see it? Um, I'm all for I'm all for accepting our you know our human bodies or naked bodies, but for a modeling show and a modeling like thing, I wouldn't just start stripping onto my thong and be like here I am, and especially not for everyone to kind of see because you can still see their shape and if they're gonna be great models through their pictures, through the clothing they have on, for example, they don't have to be butt naked. I, I remember her asking this a lot from the people to kind of undress. I'm not sure, I think some people were didn't wanna do it and she got upset. We gotta see, I, I don't remember exactly. What size are you in the butt? Um, 37. 37? Oh, you mean 27? 37. You're a 37 ass? You gotta lose some poundage, Missy. Come on, stand up here. It's so funny because now people want... She already looks really slender. Did you see that? She looks slender and she looks a bit toned also. Wait, 37. What is that in centimeters? That's 93 centimeters. I think that's about my size, actually. What? 27? What does she expect her to be? 27? 68 centimeters? That's tiny! If you are tall and that tiny, your BMI must be underweight. I cannot imagine being... I would have to shave down my bones to get like that. 100%. She acts like that's big. What? <laughs> that is... She's tiny. Now even people want a more rounder ass and like... Of course, maybe not in a high, high modeling fashion industry. People still have to be stick stick straight you know that's still like what they want even though they're embracing more diversity and different body shapes often they still want you to look very thin and there's still a lot of eating disorders going on um but look at her you're a 37 ass you gotta lose some poundage missy come on stand up here who cares if you look good you look that good the clothes are gonna look amazing on her the pants are gonna look better on her than some stick straight models like sometimes i'm looking through magazines or not magazines that's way back <laughs> i don't look through magazines anymore to be honest but i look through online like pages or modeling and often when they're too thin and they have these pants on i don't like the pants and sometimes i still ordered it and i thought it looked better on me than on the models because i feel a lot better and then I was like, why don't they use models that, you know, the pants fits on better? But still it seemed like the thinner, the better. I don't get it because it often doesn't look better. Come on, stand up here. You nestle your face right in, in, into his shoulder like that. You Dang, she's naked, naked. Snap a little, he's gonna sue me. Look, don't grab her like a, a fish. And she has a small butt, like she's... She doesn't need to, I hope she doesn't tell her that she needs to lose any centimeter or something like that. You gotta lose some poundage, Missy. Fish. Passionately. You stroke her. You stroke her. That's hot. Okay, why is it necessary to do such sexual pictures from the start? Is she starting a modeling agency or a lingerie, a sexual man magazine or whatever you would call it sorry for if i don't say the right words i'm i'm from belgium sometimes i don't know um but this is so unnecessary to me you can do this you you're not need you don't need to do this to see if they're a good model most modeling shots are not sexual sensual 
lingerie picture with a man. Often that's a separate category, isn't it? Lingerie shoots. Um, there's lingerie models. There's sp- models that are good for sport. There's all around models. Maybe she wants those all around models. But to start that, I know I find that a bit weird. I would feel a bit uncomfortable doing that. I would not do it. No. I, no, I just wouldn't do it. It's not for me. <laughs> I think my body and especially my naked body is for my boyfriend. Pete, next. Thank you. You're fine. Come on over here. Just do me a favor. Just like do some inhale, outhale so the stomach goes in. You know, what do you eat for breakfast? You shouldn't have had that third I'm egg. Drink. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? You shouldn't have. That guy looks like fit. What? <laughs> You drank. A Wait a minute. You drank. Party. You partied last night. I was excited. So how much do you want to be a model? A lot. Well, you don't drink the night before you do a photo shoot. Look, he's he's skinny. What is she judging? What? Because you blowed out and you look three months pregnant. That's so stupid of you to say that to me, especially. It's just dumb. You know. You may- okay. Of course, if you are a professional model, you don't drink and binge the day before you have a shoot if that's your job. But I mean, look at him. <laughs> Three months pregnant, he's like flat, he's, he's flat tummy, what? <laughs> you may, you think you're gonna get by in your looks, it's about nutrition, getting to bed on time, having clean eyes, you know, no, you know, no zits. Oh, you, minus 10 points, back up. Next. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, but you didn't have to grease him like that. Then let's see how you were greasing him. Watch how she was greasing him. Look at the look on her face when she greased him. Just you either grease him or you don't. You don't pet him like a puppy dog. I don't like those underpants. Looks a bit like a diaper. <laughs> Pastor Fox. Yes. Pastor Fox, how are we today? Are we ready to get down in our skivvies and do naked shots, Pastor Fox? You should have brought a priest suit. That would have been good. <laughs> I started sparring mo- She just wants to see everybody naked today, that's for sure. Models out there, we need to go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, just like that, stay. Do not move, get closer to that. Do not move. Don't breathe, don't think, nothing. Let me see that. I want Italian Vogue. <laughs> Sorry, but this is so like, the look back then is. <laughs> I don't think the mouth pose is working for him though. I mean, it's just a very, very strange pose. I want Heidi for mine. Okay, that's better. If we brought it down, it was better. Picture is pretty cool, actually. But it's funny because guys often did like this eyeliner back then. Um, looks very gothy. Oh my god, it's great. She's hot. When I was 13, that's when it really hit me I could do modeling. And that's right, a year after I came home, we moved to America. She's beautiful and I think she looks also very normal. I think a lot of models look like very normal people. They're just very photogenic. They're not always like super stunning or anything. They're often just pretty normal people. If you see them on the street, they just are very photogenic um, and confident. Give me a profile. Yes, 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 yes. That's great, we got the shot. Do her bra, Marcus, after you put your pants on. He had to take off his underpants. Why do you need to shoot him in his naked dick? Put your pants on. Honey, do you really have hives? Where do you get it from? Like yeah, don't be nervous. You'll be all right. If you get hives from being... Don't be nervous, just don't be nervous. Just don't be. If you get highs from, from being nervous, <laughs> just don't be nervous, you know. Don't be intimidated, man. You're 18 years old. You run the world. She's wonderful. That's the, that's the picture. Elle magazine, right? I do feel people back then used, used to look older than they did now. A lot of them, when they say their age, like 18, 19, often now you would think they are in their 20s, you know. I don't know what's changed. Maybe it's just the styling and how we style ourselves. We did these very thin eyebrows. I used to do that also. I had these very thin eyebrows and probably the style. Hello Magazine, right there. I am looking for the next supermodel, but I am looking for girls and guys that are going to make the Janice Dickinson agency money. I wasn't one of those kids who had dreams of becoming a model. That's a great, great flip look. 
I just moved out here to California and I figured, you know, why not give it a shot? Who's too tan for this? I need a white boy. Get get Pastor Fox over there. No? You're not dropping trial Pastor Fox? Dennis. Good, like, why would you need to drop your pants? I wonder what he's gonna say, actually. Called me up, she wanted me to fill in for someone else where I'd be nude behind a female. But I'm a Christian and a pastor, so, you know, I respect. He's also a pastor, yeah, of course. We declined. Pastor Fox, in order to be a model, you have to be able to take your clothes off. If you have these boundaries. You, to be a model, you don't need to be butt naked. I think the minority of jobs, a very, very tiny, small percentage, will be showing your private parts. <laughs> Usually you have some clothes on, you know? Like, she acts as if, oh my god, if you don't do that, sorry, you can't be a model. Sorry, can't be a model, you can't, you don't show your dick. <laughs> Can't be <laughs> we want to see dick and balls. Able to take your clothes off. If you have these boundaries, you're going to be unable to work in Europe. <laughs> you're going to be unable to work in exotic Europe. I'm from Europe. Usually you don't see people butt naked. Also not back then. People weren't butt naked. There were certain commercials sometimes in more posed ways. But they are just recruiting models. This is not even for a commercial. You have to do something for a job. You could still decline. There's plenty others to fill your space and then you can do the jobs. You would waste talent, and like pure talent, because they wouldn't want to show their privates. Well, it's a sticking point for me personally for Pastor Fox not to drop trial because you have to have the ability to take your clothes off if a client says, please take your clothes off. He just really annoyed. No, I don't want to. Me, Pastor Fox. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. I'm taking the picture for you so I can make revenue with you. And how many? I'm taking the pictures for you so I can make revenue with you. You're not gonna make. Are you starting a sex magazine? Fashion magazines are guys naked on? Millions! <laughs> Millions of porn magazines. <laughs> Millions of sex tapes. <laughs> What is it? French folk, Italian folk, GQ. Fox, don't do it. 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 Don't do it morally not something you want to do or feel good with in your heart and you would regret of course you're not going to do it it's not necessary either most jobs are not but naked there's plenty of other jobs beautiful ta talent will of him if he has it will shine through in so many other campaigns you're not going to make revenue from him from nude shots like what yeah okay wait 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 there's only one diva in this place and that's me all right you're out you're out you're out. He was like, I'm gonna defend the boss and we're gonna be on a good note. And then she's like, there's only one diva here, get out. You're out, shut up. I'm concentrating on finding the next male diva, not triplet chatter, out. You know, I stuck in my morals and wasn't gonna cave just for some shoot. There's more important things than modeling. I got two words for people who don't want to work with me, out. No, 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 no. You're not taking Disney Boy to the crazy place, Duke, Gabe. Disney boy is going to be dark. He's not going to. He's not going to go with the makeup thing and all. And all. No, he's going to be. He's going to be Fight Club. Yo, Disney, you got to snap out of your comfort zone. You know, you've been the cute boy for too long. No, not 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 the stripes. Hey, I got some cool stuff. Some cowboys. A shirt with this. Let's see cowboy it. Shirt. Wrap him in that game. Wrap wrap that pit and Fight Club in that. Yeah, shake it out. Shake it out back there, though. We're gonna wrap you up in a carpet. Bring the whole mink coat over your shoulders. Yeah, like, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Stop. Holler. Shoot. It's so easy. He, I think he could be a good model, actually. How old, how old is he? He's about 23. You have a great body. You look great, Ian. Charlie and I haven't seen one person yet. Just give it. You have to have one or two poses that we don't have to pull out of you. You have to have a thought behind it. Think of walking into a hot nightclub. Think of eating a good meal. Think of having a child. Think of a rainstorm, a sunset. I'm a friggin' thought because I'm not seeing it. I 
see plenty of good pictures. Also, you're just in this little studio in front of a, a backdrop with people who want to be models and are just like doing their best. But you, you often do have to provide some training, though. You do have to give them some some camera training. Like a lot of people just come off the streets trying to be a model and you often can see good potential in their pictures. What are you wearing? Okay, let's talk. You look like a sexy library. I don't want to see that. Either do the lingerie, stand there like a Victoria's Secret model or chic supermodel. I'm from my I'm like eight weeks too much. Oh, you're not listening to me. I'm the photographer here today. So either you wear the lingerie or completely button yourself up, but not, you're coming on the set like this, you know, it's like, well, well I, you don't have to turn me on. It's like, I, I see that you have to Why would that turn you on more than like, being completely in lingerie, isn't that like, I don't know. Often <laughs> she had them butt naked even. What? No, no, that's cheap. That's not, it's, that's not chic. Okay, that's cheap, not chic. Okay. Janice wants either a Victoria's Secret model. I'm trying to learn. Or high fashion. I'm both. How long have you been a model? 10 years. 10 years, so for 10 years to come into my agency, you know, I, I need it. I need the package. You've got the looks. You just have to do shrinkage. Yeah. Or go for a plus size look. No. You need to do shrinkage or go for a plus size look. Let's she looks she looks like a good weight woman. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She looks quite skinny. I mean slender, you know? As we know, you know, modeling agency often one very, very skinny, especially back then. There were so many eating disorders. Wonder how it is now. I could have sat there and fought with her and said, look, I can do both. You know, I'm a thin lingerie model or I'm a heavy fashion model. I could have let it all hang out and pop the eyes out of every guy here. I don't know. Then she has to sell me like that. Look awesome. Don't be nervous. The last time I had anything close to this was two years ago when um, I went to this modeling agency and they did a photo shoot there. I did my hair and makeup and all. At the time, my mom didn't want to like invest too much time and like money and traveling. This whole thing is kind of overwhelming because I never expected any of this to happen and it's all just happening so fast and all of a sudden. Can you feet, feet water was sort of part? Camera. Yeah. Sorry, I found yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Kind of come forward a little like that. That's good. And look right at me. She was just saying to this to this woman, don't look cheap. And But then she makes her pose like that. Isn't that also kind of cheap? I mean, with a bra, just with a skirt and a, and a bra and then like leaning. I mean, it doesn't look high fashion or classy to me. Right at me. I haven't really photographed someone homeless before, but I felt some kindred spirit with Teresa because I personally had such a rough time in the beginning being rejected. This girl has everything against her. Society's against her. She has no place to live. That's good. Hold him like that. That's good. It was amazing to watch Teresa perform with confidence and dignity. She was really a pro without being a pro. I think the pictures are good, but she doesn't like exude model to me. Of course, she's probably still shy. Um, maybe she wants to kind of boost her up because like she sees herself in her. She comes from the street, doesn't want to tear her down, but at least give other people also like the benefit of the doubt. You know, if you're going to say those things about her, um, other people deserve that also. Oh, yes. Now look at me right here. Yes, 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 yes. We have it. Coming. You can see. The floor is definitely beautiful. So after about 20 hours of the entire day of shooting the models, I finally had my pics. Cool. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you have more grace in your pinky finger than I've ever displayed on the runway period. I would really love to have you join my agency. It would be an honor for me to represent you. Welcome. <laughs> you didn't understand me, did you? That's There's fast. a seven second <laughs> delay. I would what? really love to have you join my agency. It would be an honor for me to represent you. Welcome. You didn't understand me, did you? There was a seven second delay. Thank you. Nayabel is a huge asset already, just from the fact that she's African. The fact that she. I guess because some campaigns and look for darker skin models, because she looks pretty normal to me. And I guess she was just happy that there was also someone with a darker skin tone that she could use in her modeling agency, maybe. The fact that she's African. The fact that she has enough confidence coming from a small country in Africa. I have big plans for Nia Bell because I think she's got everything that I'm really looking for in a supermodel. 
It was a joy to work with you. It was a joy to meet you. I watched you all day like a hawk. Welcome to my agency. Oh, thank you. Ian. Good God, Ian. The next JFK Jr. Classic American good looks. Just all in all, a Cary Grant of his generation. This is the kind of male model I want with the Janice Dickinson agency. Hi, Crystal. Right. You kind of feel good, don't you? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Why do you feel so good? It's exciting. I when I welcome you to the Janice Dickinson agency. Are you serious? Thank you so much. Crystal is cover girl. And once you break it as a cover girl, the designers go after you, hook, line, and sinker, and then the makeup companies come after you. Do you get it? So that's how it works with Crystal. Big bucks in advertising. In or out, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. You're pretty unpredictable. Really? Like a car crash? Yeah, you can make that analogy, like a car crash. How about you're in? I, just <laughs> I don't know what to say, I'm speechless. Christopher Jones is my number one. I see Emporio Armani going crazy crazy over a Chris Jones. I see a Tiffany ad with Chris Jones. I just see all the major advertisers. I do not like that picture. <laughs> Calling me 24-7 trying to book Mr. Chris Jones on everything. He's that good. He's that good. Welcome to my agency. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We have a lot of work to do on you. Okay. We're gonna have to find you a job immediately. And we're gonna have to talk about maybe doing something with your nose. Okay. I do. Oh my god. Okay. So you come in there, and the first thing that you're accepted, but you might have to do something about your nose. Maybe also your cheeks. Maybe um, you need to lose five kilos also. <laughs> That's so horrible to say. All kinds of noses are beautiful. That nose looks beautiful on her, it fits her. Uh, <laughs> Why do they always have to get this small shave down nose? Some people get that and I think they look better with their n nose that they were born with. Sometimes it's a little bit bigger, bigger bulby, uh, here bigger. I think sometimes that's so much cuter on their face. What? I do believe, for with all of the knowledge that I have, that, that you could be at the top of the game in the industry. You don't need a hug. I think Teresa can be great in runway. She can be great in commercials. And she can be great in editorial because of her exotic looks. She can be any nationality. Welcome to the agency. She can be any nationality. She can be Chinese. She can be African. She can be da Danish. She, you know, Aboriginal. <laughs> Native American. Thank you. I mean that. It's going to be a heck of a road. This agency is my new chapter of me being me, Janice, the businesswoman. The businesswoman that I've always wanted to become. We're going to go through educating ourselves who the photographers are in the industry. You're going to know your trade. But now it was a chance for me finally to achieve a dream that I've had of being someone who's about to shape the lives and the careers of other people. And you will find you a job. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll find you a place to stay. This agency has had one casting call, and out of that, I've picked five models. I need more and more and more. This isn't the end all or be all. This is just the beginning and I need more models. Okay, so that was the first episode. If you like this, let me know and I will do all the other episodes as well because this is kind of relaxing and fun to watch as well. Um, I still got to get into this whole format of reaction because I usually sit still and don't say that much. I'm also more like introverted often in my own thoughts. So I got to, I often start thinking that, oh my God, what I'm saying, like I should, do it differently or I should think about it more, do some more research. Um, but yeah, if I said anything that is offensive or something, I'm sorry. I often take more time to think about my opinions. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and maybe I'll see you next time. Bye bye.